<laughs> oh man, this just looks so... it's pretty trippy. <laughs> Making the loudest exhaust. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Okay, great. Hey there, fellows. You guys ready for a new experiment? Okay, so... This here car of ours, this wouldn't be the first time you're seeing it. It has taken part in so many of our experiments. Anyway, not too long ago, we made a super quiet exhaust. Which led us to the idea of making an extremely loud one. And we've decided to fit that extremely loud exhaust to this here automobile. I really don't think... It makes that much of a difference, whether we do it on that red car or this black thing. The motors on these two are pretty much the same, well, in terms of displacement and uh, cylinder count. However, here we are looking to achieve a mean, ferocious noise, so that as soon as you drive into town, you'd immediately be bombarded with snowballs, or maybe even bricks and some other shit. Right, let's make ourselves a super loud exhaust. And this is what we're gonna use to make it. Right here we've got some thin wall polished stainless sheet. As I'm sure you know, the typical fart cannons are usually all very shiny. We've also been seeing a lot of those burnt stainless mufflers lately. That's when you heat them up to get a bluish tone going. Certain manufacturers don't machine or polish the welds on purpose to retain the blue color effect. Those are pretty cool to look at. As for us, we've got some sheet, and that's what we're going to be working with. So far, it looks like our muffler will have a diameter... It's not going to be 200, 180, or even 250 mil. How do I even show this to you? It's going to be something like this. <laughs> yeah, that seems about right. Just to be clear, we're not going to be adding anything. We've got everything we need. Some sheet, a car, a welder, and the desire to make something. Let's do this. Check out what we've made here, fellas. We're looking at a small coffee machine. I mean, it really is tiny. It looks... This'll definitely leave the Subaru lovers green with envy. Oh man, this just looks so... It's pretty trippy. I think we should give it a listen. Start the car. Now we find out...
That's enough. Stop before you break the motor. What do you know? It's even good for some special effects. We saw a smoke show with a bit of gunfire. All in all, that was pretty awesome. Standing next to it is just unbearable. Yum, those pops are pretty intense. Who said this isn't the loudest out there? When the exhaust pops through a muffler or a simple straight pipe, you don't get this sort of effect. But when you're running a huge cannon like this one, the popping noises are considerably amplified, almost to the point where it's deafening. I suggest we go for a drive, while there's still somebody around who could share their feedback on what we've done here. Or at the very least tell us that we're freaking lunatics. Alright, let's go for a ride. I'd imagine this looks pretty epic from the outside. Oh wow, that rumble! I see some Subis. Great, let me ask these guys what they think. Sup, homies? What are you laughing at? Whose Subaru is that? Is that your Subaru? Oh, so you drive a Subaru, Sanya. How do you like my exhaust? Looks like the system you're running is pretty puny. Want to trade for mine? Let's swap exhaust, man. All we need is seven minutes to transfer it over to your car. No? Nah, for crying out loud. Seriously, man, yours is a joke. This sort of system is a must-have for a Subaru. It even works well on a Lada. Imagine what your Subi is going to sound like. Come on, let's give it a try. <laughs> it's too low. I'm gonna scrape the hell out of it. Don't worry, we can cut your car to make it fit. We'll get a nice arch going. What about my trunk? You don't use it anyway. Well, you won't be able to at least. There's your solution. You feel free to take my offer or leave it. Sure thing. Okay then, those guys aren't keen. Alright, let's carry on. You need an exhaust like mine? What now? Go ahead and have a look. Looks massive. Hell yeah it is. How much you want? It's on the house, bro. <laughs> Seriously, drive on by, we'll hook you up. We'll install it for you. I feel like I'm not gonna make it back out. Yeah, gonna have to make a hole in the trunk. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Yeah, no worries. And there you have it. It's all in good fun.
Right, fellas, I've just been out for a drive. Everything's good. We did get some positive reactions from the car enthusiasts. One guy even said he was prepared to bring in his car to do an install. <laughs> Oh man, it looks wild. It's definitely one of those things that catches the eye. I mean, yeah, we obviously did this just for the sake of having a little fun, just for the hell of it. But the thing is that it actually works. It's not as good as a properly engineered system, of course, but it does give you a pretty nice burble, some pops and crackles, and oh my god is it loud. Just what we were looking for. Anyway, fellas. If you have any similar ideas in mind, feel free to share them with us. Something along the lines of horns or a goosely, I don't know. There's so much we could do here, like maybe even an organ or something. Anyway, this experiment was a tremendous success. Seriously, you simply can't miss something like this. It's definitely worth a chuckle. Yeah, we're looking at a 107% success rate. Right, guys, you go ahead and send in those suggestions. Watch us, subscribe. Give us a big thumbs up. All right, catch you later. Wow, we've got some mad acoustics. It's as if you're in space.